Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So we found a we found a female that had uh, marked rings and whatnot, and uh, we suspect that this was uh, she was uh, she was undead and in the in the uh, uh, room of uh, of, a, of a powerful um, man, and um, she bore this this mark in her neck. That, that we couldn't quite identify it, but it looked like a snake symbolish or something or something. So you, you kind of um, you see him put his, that, that may have been her, but I don't know. He puts his hand down on the table and kind of rubs across his face, and he's like, "Oh, boy, it, it could it could be her, it could be anybody." Um, is is she, is the body still there? I mean, could you bring it back? Maybe I could see if it's her. Yeah, yeah we, we were going to, and I forgot. <laughs> Oh, do you think you can go back and get it? Yeah, we will. Um, we will uh, later on today. We'll be returning there. Okay. Um, I don't know if you really want to bring a body into the Shinobi here. I think some people will probably recognize it. Is there any place where maybe I can meet we'll, you guys? Um, well, we had that one entrance into one of those alleys um, where the sewer grates came out. We found two different places where the sewer grates came up and, yeah. and into alleys. So, um, do you want to meet can, him there? We can do, do that and then mark the grate somehow or something or other. We okay. Can get a general idea of whereabouts it's located based okay. on, on how we could draw it on the ground. He could probably get a pretty good idea of, of within a block or so, you know, sure. all the sewer grates and we can just mark the one and one and then the body can be down inside the grates or whatever. Okay. All right. He says, yeah, definitely. So then we can like tie a ribbon or something rather to the grate, you know, we'll tie or like a red or, um, blue ribbon or something rather on the grate or. Two different ribbon, two different colored ribbons, or pieces of cloth on it, so that you can identify the grate, and then underneath the grate is where we'll have the, the the body. He says, "Oh, I'd I'd really appreciate that." He says, "Um, do can maybe uh you know maybe the wizard maybe he can, t you know talk to me telepathy or something like that, or you know kind of communicate with me at all and kind of tell me would that help?" Telepathy to do what? Uh, to tell me where the location's at, so I know for sure. Because I, I really I don't want oh to... well, we'll draw out a map like right now on the ground. I mean, oh I oh, do whatever and say okay, here's where here's where we are. We kind of went over this far this way, whatever. So I should get them within you know a block or something rather of all the grates in that area. And all he's got to do is find the ones in the alley that that because okay. that's where the two that we found came up in alleys, not in the streets, but actually in alleys. He says okay, yeah, says, I, okay, yeah. I, I, I'm happy to do that. I'm, I just, I, I'm not from the area. I'm a little worried I may get lost or maybe not be able to find it. Do you know anybody in town that maybe you could trust that would be able to show me where that's at or, or these, you know, these roads and stuff? Um, yeah, we have a, a mighty young warrior in training that can help. Excellent. And he should be right out, right out here in the Shinobi and, um, be more than happy to have, uh, have him, uh, uh, take you take you to where it is you um you kind of uh hear a little voice oh are you talking about me are you talking about me and you yes, kind of see him come our, running around our stalwart warrior he so, kept us protected us all night he, he uh he's like yep i was i was a protector so he kind of comes up and now he still has the bowl on his head and he still has that kind of plate that he uh made into a kind of a makeshift shield and he still has the large dinner for or dinner knife uh that he's using for his sword um but you now notice that um on his front um that he has another large sort of uh um metal kind of almost bullish plate type thing that kind of strapped onto the front into the back and um pretty it looks pretty uh pretty interesting to say the least he's like hey i got my new chest piece razik great fight buddy by the way hey you said you were going to show me how to turn into one of those dinosaur things do you remember i'm, I'm super excited tonight you gotta you gotta you're gonna show me how to do that right i can't wait he's like super excited <laughs> you guys want to fill razik in <laughs> crickets uh so they uh when you guys met with him earlier um they uh said that <laughs> they volunteered you services to teach him how to uh uh yeah to, to turn into a dinosaur <laughs> turn into a dinosaur and fight like an animal so he's super excited he can't wait man he's been waiting all day he, he got the chest plate because he wanted to kind of match up like you 
Oh, can we invent a video recorder or anything? I mean, come on. There's got to be a way. Yeah. We have got like a, some really fast cartoonists. <laughs> you have a second bet. That's awesome. <laughs> So um, I added your guys' winnings to the uh, the combat tracker or the party sheet. So it's 5,000 gold, and then it's a dwarven, <laughs> how ironic, a dwarven tro trophy. Awesome. Uh, so it okay. should, should well, be in we, there. We're giving the one dude the, the final trophy, right? Or yeah. isn't that what we agreed on? Is so, he going to have the trophy of the, for the final if, if we want it? Yeah, so you guys agreed with Tira, um, who's part of the Thieves Guild here in Waterdeep. Um, you guys had uh, went into a wager and said that if you would um, defeat Auric, uh, his group, but not kill him at the if you guys are in the last battle, you'll get paid money just as long as you don't kill him. Um, she asked that you don't kill him, I think, was the agreement. Yep. All right. Um, so he's like, yeah, you know, I'd love for you guys to be able to do that. Um, he's like, I, you guys are awesome out there. And hey, uh, Tanner, by the way, the doll thing, it's really kicking off, man. We're, I'm making a lot of money off that stuff. I'll definitely give you a cut. You guys cut. Don't worry. Um, he's like, have you seen any of them yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw one. Do, yep. do you have any uh, registered trademark uh, marks on there? Because they'll be coming out with counterfeits. Oh, I, it. I, I didn't think about that. Uh, okay, all right, I'll, I'll uh, talk to the, the tailors that I'm working with, and he's a magic user too. He kind of kind of mass produces these things. I'll go talk to him, but man, man, we sold out yesterday, and today we sold out too. Uh, we got a little plushies of, of all you guys, but um, uh, we didn't. We, we really had the Cormor one because that's what we had first. So so we'll get you, we'll get it made though. We'll get it taken care of. Don't worry. Um, they want jingle ponies. The, girls, the little girls will yeah, want that the Cormor ponies. doll can ride. He's <laughs> 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 stealing Bose's <laughs> ride. <laughs> He's like, uh, he's like, yeah, we haven't, we haven't really perfected the horse yet. Uh, the first batch didn't look that great, so uh, we'll have to wait. Uh, the Carl doll, though, the little guy. Oh man, everybody, that that thing sold out quick. Yeah, whatever. So uh, Ooh's like, come on, come on, I'm going to show you the great. I remember what great, what street? And he, you guys show him the drawings. Like, oh yeah, I know exactly where that at. He's like, there's a great restaurant right there. Let's go eat, and we'll wait for them to bring the. Is it going to be a dead body that's going to be there? Kind of whispers. Is it going to be alive? Is it really going to be a zombie? We won't, we won't talk about it anymore, yeah, okay? Okay, all right. Not to anybody. Died. Okay, okay, all right. I got it. Good, good. We're uh, up, zip. Kind of zips up his mouth. He's like, okay, I'm done. He kind of mm. grabs, grabs Elkham, and he's like, he looks at you guys like, what did you guys get me involved with? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Runs out of the, uh, uh, takes him up the stairs. All right. So uh, they kind of bring out dinner, and um, the three groups are now there, and um, you guys are kind of all sitting uh, kind of across, you know, at your at your tables. There's two tables that are empty, um, and you see that uh, Orc, obviously Orc and Kellic, you guys know, they're, they're kind of a fighter and a, a magic user type person, and they kind of keep themselves kind of eating. They're talking to their manager. Um, you don't see Tira come down at all. The other group um, actually is... Um, a group of uh, um, four half orcs uh, that are uh, very tall and, and large standing appear to be um, uh, appear to have kind of a magic user and a cleric that's sort of in the group um, and the other two either are sort of some sort of a fighter uh, barbarian combination or of some sort there and they they kind of keep themselves and they, they speak in a language that uh, none of you are really familiar with it sounds like a far far away dialect you now see that uh, in the room there's, you know, maybe five or six guards, and, and they're pretty much hanging out with each other, kind of talking to themselves. place is pretty empty. All right. Um, is there anything we can do? Well, I guess worry about it before the next match or whatever, see if I can bluff, my, bluff our way down into staying at the same ranking. Oh, yeah. No, unfortunately, um, your ranking is uh, kind of set at this point. The bluffs were only for the oh, first okay. night. Yeah, good try. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, yep. And you guys were able to bluff down to the one rank uh, on the first night. So. All right, yep. Yeah, you guys actually the, um, start at four. Yeah. We can do this. The, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> ah, no problem. Oh, well.
What would you guys like to do now? Um, well, I guess we can visit and whatever, make sure we uh, satisfy all those people who wanted to say hey to us or swing by or talk to the car. Or, you know, what, whoever it was that wanted to be able to visit with us so that odds are they wouldn't pester us later. Yeah, sure. And sure. Uh, get that out of the way, and then we can go and, uh, and uh, see if we can recover the body. No problem. So, and then, okay, then we'll go back in deeper. All right, sounds good. Um, so um, you guys, you know, the groups, uh, the, the two groups kind of break off and go sort of into their room. You see Oric kind of goes down the, uh, the passageway to the old ruins, almost as if they're going to pray. Um, so you kind of see him going off to the south. Um, the brokers, the guys with the money, kind of come back down and give you guys um, pretty much diamonds for your gold pieces. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to carry that much out. Um, and then... Um, uh, the guards are kind of, you know, kind of milling about, and they seem to be more towards the steps now at this point. Um, not really around the the large circle that you guys had gone around before. That's still there that you could get to without any difficulty, or you could take the uh, sewers and rivers. Um, I think we, it's easy to take the same route we did. Well, nah, let's take the sewers. Okay. Maybe we'll get some random creature to fight. Alrighty, uh, let me, um, I'm just going to drag, uh, there we go, whoa, holy smokes, let me set a grid. Just that is a, just a big pose. <laughs> <laughs> In all his glory. In large, in large person on steroids. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, so there you go, Bose, I kind of set you in there, um, I'll put, uh, Carl and, uh, uh, Cormier and uh, Razak and Tanner. But if you guys just want to use one person to kind of indicate where you're moving, that's fine too. All right, what map are you using? Uh, I'll share it. That one. Thank you. I got to shrink Razak back down to size. Okay, so the okay, so way I understood it was... That's what came up in that hole that we found. That is correct. So we would just go to the north here. Uh-huh. And then back to the west and back. So, um, yep. Back so, south there. Sounds good. So you'll kind of follow the sewers around. <laughs> yeah. All righty. And then um, why don't you guys give me one perception and one stealth check, and we'll count that for the entire tunnel. Alrighty. Awesome. <laughs> You're getting the ones out of the way. Actually, what happened to those happened boots to of Elven kind? <laughs> <laughs> so there was five ones in the tower. I just want to point that out. Um, so. Oh, you... I should have went in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Almost all the rolls were ones. Um, so you guys are able to uh, get actually to that opening without any difficulty at all. There's uh, no mobs or anything that were in the tunnels. But the rats, the rats saw us the whole way. Yeah, they they actually followed you guys. They were were rats, but you didn't know it. No. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I'll use my rope to shinker its way up and tie tie up there, and we'll uh, honk our way up. All right, sounds good. And I have a perception and a stealth. All righty. So, Bose, you are able to uh, get up uh, into the um, entrance of that room to the south there. Um, I'll get your character sheet on there. You do not perceive any additional monsters in the area. All right, I'll, I'll wave them up then. All righty. Uh, I, I assume you have a knotted rope, right? Yep, yep. Knotted, yeah. knotted up, shortens it up a little bit when to do so, but uh, makes it really easy to climb. got rope climbing too. Right, I was just going to say, you're using the rope of climbing. 
All right, so we won't roll. I'll we'll just have you all get up there. I think it's a pretty easy roll, and there's nothing else that's really going on. So, all right, so you guys are able to uh, climb back up into the uh, the area here without any difficulty. Um, do you remember the room descriptions? Do you need the room descriptions, or are you just going to kind of go back where you were? Um, no, we kind of went over that again. So okay, um, good. Yeah, so we can just meander. Alrighty, where do you guys uh, where do you want guys want to go? Go that way. Uh huh. North and dodge the green beam. Okay, sounds good. And you notice that the green beam seems just a little bit more less green at this point. All right. Nice. Yeah, if I can have reflex saves from everybody who's going underneath the green beam. And then her body or whatever should be up in here, right? Yep. Or you guys can wait if you want to. Unless you... All right, there we go. Nice. Cormer, you're able to uh, limbo underneath it. Tanner, man, oh man, Tanner. Nice. You're underneath it. No problems. Well, Razik's getting his uh, roll there. There we go. Oh man, yeah. No problems. You guys are all up into the room. Uh, the body is still kind of where you had left it, uh, sort of in the chair. Um, it does uh, have, a, you know, a charred appearance to it. However, the backside is uh, continuing to decompose. All right. All right. Well, we'll uh, tie her to the chair and carry her on the chair. <laughs> All righty. A uh, little flesh stays in the chair there when you guys uh, kind of pull her out. Um, well, that's why we're not pulling her out of the chair. We're leaving her in the chair. Oh, you're taking the chair. Tie her to the chair and we'll carry her in the chair. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So the uh, so you guys have got a cumbersome chair here. All righty. You're just going to push that right through the green beam or are you going to try to finagle that through without having it hit? Yeah, we'll just kind of drag her underneath or whatever. Gotcha. So uh, we will... We'll, uh, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, Nice, ah, Bose. Nice. She got green beam. So uh, she um, kind of gets bathed in this green light from this green beam. Um, you notice her arm twitches a little bit, um, and you see her face move a little bit as well. Um, but then nothing does, else does she happens. Look at me again, and, and then... <laughs> yeah, she s turns over and smiles at you. Um, but no further movement. Zombie love. Zombie love. <laughs> Um, all right, so you guys are able to uh, kind of get her through the beam. Um, you're going to take her over and kind of mark the area, I assume. Yep. yep. Um, um, all right. A couple people that tatters or something or other that we can find along the way that we can just mark the sure. the grate there with a couple pieces of, of uh, fabric tied in like a little bow. No problem. So you... Make sure that the grate is loosened enough so that it's easy enough to lift right off. And then we'll... Uh, We'll have the the body down in it, down down in there, uh, um, wrapped up as best we can with something like bed sheets or something rather, so that you know. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe we can maybe. cocoon her in a bed sheet and kind of hang her, uh, or t you know tie off the top and the bottom of the bed sheets to like the some of the steps or something. Rather. So we keep her off the the mucky, mucky. sewage. Um, but and and possibly rats eating her or something other thing. Okay. Interested okay. in a freaking thing, but wrap her up like a like a totally a burrito or whatever. And oh. Alrighty. In her chair. Sounds good. So you guys um, kind of take your time, kind of get her down, uh, kind of move her and the the uh, the chair through the sewers, um, kind of move all the way through the tunnels, get to the area you're at. You do all the preparation that you talked about. Um, the preparation um, once you're all done. Are you guys coming back to here? Is that kind of the plan? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we wanted to deliver the body. Okay. Um, right away, and then we can come back in here. Yeah. So you guys uh, get that all set. You come back. It actually takes about um, two and a half hours to get that all done, to get it all moved through and whatnot. But you guys are back up into the uh, into this uh, little drain room here again, um, and it didn't see anything uh, um, that seemed concerning or or whatnot. Mm. All right. You want to check out one of these rooms while we still got our spells, or did we get her yeah. out already? No, we'll get oh, her yeah. out. I mean, it's easy enough to to haul her out and then come right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it just takes a couple hours. 
it should not uh it should take less than five minutes to get back here for once we have her all tied off right it's it's, not, it's a very short little trip it just took took a extra time you know moving her down hauling her tying her up doing all that other stuff sure We can even you offer our casket. <laughs> <laughs> you could have. All around the casket. You could have, yeah. But he didn't want to know what was in those caskets, so. Yeah, true. All right. All right. Uh, so do we want to scope out what's up in this hallway here that we left behind? I just realized. Okay. We didn't go up in that way or in the or green, green door. We can go either way. They may even meet, who knows? Up to you guys. Oh, come on, DM. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Survey says we go north. All righty. So you're going to take that passageway? Yeah, yeah that sounds good. All righty. Sounds great. All right, so go ahead and move your uh, characters in your marching order, or however you guys want to be, so that way I know. <laughs> All right. So, Bose, as you come around the corner there... You see the hall continues about 15 feet and there is a door, uh, same sort of black door, metal door that you've seen kind of all throughout this complex. All right, I'll move down to the door and see if it uh, looks like it's trapped and then if it's not, if it's unlocked and if so... Yeah, Open it up once uh, my party members uh, at least get in the hallway back behind me there. Alrighty, go ahead and move your characters if you guys want to. So it looks like uh, Tanner's got the back. Okay, that works, just as long as I know kind of where everybody's at. Alright, perfect. Alrighty, um, go ahead and give me a uh, perception. The store does not appear to be trapped. I'll try and open it as quietly as I can and take a peek. Alrighty. So um, the door opens without any difficulty. Wow, nice. Um, and you peek inside and you see that this um, this room sort of is a um, oh kind of an L-shaped room, about 15 by 15 feet, um, and it has a large piece of machinery in it. It's kind of built of stone and metal, but it doesn't look like it's been used for many centuries. Um, and um, the machine is uh, connected to the northeast wall by a very large pipe. The pipe. Does it look like, uh, or is anyone going to figure out what this machine is or was doing? Sure. Um, why don't we get a knowledge check? And let's see. Anybody have engineering? Uh, I can do an untrained. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Um, you are not sure what the um, machinery is for, Bose. Does anybody else want to try? <laughs> I'll get it off you, no problem. I'll take a shot at it. It's just going to be untrained. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, 
You're not sure either. Cormer is not sure. But are we sure? Are we sure? Yeah, you're not sure. You're not sure. And Razik thinks it's part of the swamp. Razik's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um so you, you see this kind of ancient machinery you guys aren't sure what it's used for and then you see this very large pipe that's kind of connected at the northeast wall all right um where the pipe goes to the north kind of cuts into the northeast <laughs> actually <laughs> looks like it goes inserts right into the wall so there's User a hole in the wall where the pipe out. would go, is it? Um, yes, um, exactly. User yep. entered your channel. Yeah, there's a there's a hole in the wall where you see this two and a half foot pipe kind of cutting into the wall, almost like it's uh, you know, going to someplace else. User left your channel. Um, um, is it small or big enough to crawl through? Too small to um, crawl through? You could try to crawl through it. You would have to climb into the machinery and then traverse the pipe. Um, I would need a uh, escape artist check. See if you could wiggle through the pipe. A wiggle and a squiggle, huh? Wiggle and a squiggle. All right, I'll give it a try. I don't know if anybody else got a better escape artist, but... No. All right. All right. Does anybody have any? Plus five. Anybody have any? Oh, you have a plus five. Oh, he has a plus ten. Does um anybody have a strength check because Bo seems to be trapped in the tunnel? He's like half his legs are hanging out and he can't get any farther. Bah! bah. <laughs> Look for a broomstick. We'll push. I escaped the room. <laughs> so, User entered your channel. So Bo's is half sticking in the pipe, half sticking out of the pipe. Um. And uh, it's kind of uh, sort of sort of stuck there. There we go. Um, and so um, Cormer is able to pull him out with his uh, strength, his great strength ability. Uh, kind of pops him out like that. User in your channel timed out. Um. Um. Oh, let me try and do it with a potion of reduce person. Be able to fit through there better that way, right? User joined your channel. So I use up my reduced person potion. Yeah, you sure can. Yeah. So Razik, you tried. Or and is, you weren't able is, to uh, either. Can Razik? Do you have a small form that you could turn into? I don't know if he does. That's a good question. May want to text him because he's been uh, dropping in and out. Oh, he got that. All right. Oh, he got that. I just checked to see if he was in uh, TeamSpeak, so yeah, he is. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. So this is a two and a half foot uh, tunnel or a tube um, pipe that goes into the wall to the northeast. Um, in order to get into it, you guys had to try and escape artists, and Bo's got half it got stuck halfway in, and um, you tried but were unable to, but you could squeeze yourself back out. You're not sure where the tunnel goes. You kind of have to start sort of. Um, Let me uh, get a marker here. You kind of have to climb in this end and then sort of it. turn through. That's the only opening. Uh, right where the arrow is pointing. Can you see where the arrow is pointing? That's kind of the uh, the east side of the, the tube, and then the tube sort of goes into that big circle, and then it shoots up to the northeast from there, out of the room. token again. Kind of goes that way. Kind of goes that way.
I'm gonna cancel your bless bell, Mike. I see it's still in there. Cool. Surprised it didn't come off when we did the short rest. Me too. Ah. So you guys, uh, are you going to have uh, Razik go small, or are you going to use a shrink uh, potion or us? If he can go small, then I don't have to use a potion. If he has the means, if he's small gotcha. in size already, gotcha. I don't know. So Razik, so, yeah, if Razik can go small, so. that'd be awesome. How big is his squid when he turns into his squid or whatever? Well, I tried going in. I'm medium size, you know, human size, and, and I got stuck. So I think we need somebody smaller. Otherwise, I can use Otherwise a reduced person potion, but, the, you know, I just do not use up the potion if, if somebody can do it on, a, on something that's just kind of a free use thing. Yeah, and if you're small, you definitely would be able to fit through this without any checks. Whoever small, or if you all go small. Okay, sounds good. Um, so Razik kind of shapes change into a uh, small earth elemental, um, and is a kind of a small thing. Um, I assume you're going to climb, walk through the tunnel. Is that right, Razik? So Razik, um, you kind of cl clamber through this tunnel. Um, and uh, as, you're, as you clamber through the tunnel, it goes about 20 feet to the northeast. And then... Um, You, um, you kind of see a uh, huge vaulted chamber that kind of lies ahead, and it's dimly lit by a green light. There is a colossal, disgusting behemoth, kind of similar to a gigantic yellowish grub that lies in a heap of uh, rubble and bones and rotting disgust on the floor. The creature seems to be immersed kind of in like in a magic slumber, and its horrid body seems to pulsate um, with this almost like a... Uh, the green glow that you guys saw in the other room, and the um, you can't you notice that the uh, the uh, the tunnel where it enters into the room has this green um, barrier, just like that was covering the the uh, scrolls that you saw in the other room. It's not a solid barrier. It's, nice. it's a um, sort of this uh, green pulsing light, um, but it doesn't appear to be solid. It just looks like it's like it stops right there at the entrance of this tunnel. Can't get that off. Okay, so uh, Razik comes back and kind of tells you guys exactly the description that I had given you. Can we move the machine? Um, you could try. It's pretty big and heavy, but I mean, you guys could definitely try if you wanted. I don't know, what do you guys think? It sounds like it goes to the room that uh, those two doors go through, so I don't know. Let me, uh, oh, let me uh, bring up a picture. I have a picture for you. I'm sorry. Thanks for reminding me. Picture two was the uh, demon that you guys had fought before. Let 
that's what that looks like. It's kind of laying on the floor, just, uh, you know, in kind of a slumberish type thing, but that's exactly what it looks like, and that's probably pretty close to size. That's a big-ass worm of